Hi, I'm Sharon Fischel, and this is my exhibition of oil paintings called Earth Witness. And they're all recent works within the last two years. And a lot of them have to do with the concept of landscape as an emotive space that has to do with human emotion, which I think is a healing aspect that is missing a lot from contemporary painting sometimes and I'm interested in people really slowing down and feeling what they're seeing um, when they look through my paintings so that they feel as though they're inside the paintings and they That's come cool. from very common mm -hmm. um, garden plants oh. mostly from Washington DC which is where you live exactly right and well um, thank you for that introduction Sharon and um, so I can talk. Let's talk about your pieces here. Okay. Yeah. So the chronology of the exhibition started during COVID, and um, many of these pieces, maybe this was the first one, mm -hmm. um, have life scale wow. plants in them. So this is actually an orchid, and this plant is an early spring plant that you okay. might see in and DC. are they imprints or so what I often do is I walk I sort of do a walking meditation in my garden because mm -hmm. in Washington DC plant life is very prolific yeah, and sure. I am originally from New York City so <laughs> the plant life really struck me when I came to DC and the growth patterns of life cycles of plants are very apparent in everyday life and mm -hmm. you can really see them in my paintings. Yes, for sure. Um, and there's something about the life cycle that has to do with the birth and death of forms mm -hmm. as well. So this piece was the earliest mm -hmm. of this whole pandemic series. Um, and this might be the latest. Um, some of them mm -hmm. have a subtext. Some of them were also about um, events in my life mm -hmm. or also political events. So okay. the garden is a metaphor for a larger um, concept that okay. has to do with human nature Got it. and human emotion. This is called heart of something. Mm -hmm. And there are pieces of real lilies and also thistle right, and right. things that I've collected and lived with and then layered into my painting mm -hmm. through glazing. Yeah. Ah. There's lots and lots of glazing. And when you talk about glazing, um, can you sure. like, describe how you do that so the, with this style? Absolutely. So the beauty of oil paint, which is not all that common now, a lot of people use acrylic, mm -hmm. is that it has a transparency, a natural transparency, um, especially when glazed over white. Hmm. Um, so the white in a lot of these paintings is very important because it starts as an underlayer mm -hmm. and then I use a lot of medium. The medium has damar in it and safflower okay. oil and mm -hmm. all the traditional modes of oil painting materials that I've been using for, you know, 35 years. Yes. And as you glaze over these areas that are literally raised up. Right. So that right. they're slightly thicker. So uh -huh. the texture is formed first and then the color pushes it back in different modalities. Okay. And some of them have to do with aqueous mm -hmm. environments. Some of them have to do with earthly environments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them have to do with overtly plant right. filled Very environments. Verdant. Yes, and this is actually under the surface of this is a May apple plant and on top of it um, is a hydrangea. Okay. So the, these are real plants that mm -hmm. are printed into the surface. Okay. And they are kind of the mm -hmm. activists that start the, the story of the painting, if you will. Mm -hmm. This is called sweet woodruff. I love this mm -hmm. type of plant. Mm -hmm. I do use stencils, but I try right, right. to rough up the stencil so that it becomes um, kind of a layer a field of shapes rather than a stencil modality. I want mm -hmm. it to read as a field of things. So this painting is called Nest mm -hmm. and it's really about the um, desire for all these forms to be nested together but they're all just bursting out of 
the nest and Got there's it. no way to hold them all. Okay. So another thing I do to try to hold the spaces together, because a lot of them are about disintegration, mm. which I think is happening in our environment. So there's an environmental mm -hmm. aspect to right, this too, right. the, the decay and disintegration okay. of our environment, and which is a huge problem. Mm -hmm. um, so the circles act as kind of a stabilizing mm -hmm. and spatial um, device. Okay. I see that. And, and especially because they're also painted very flatly. Yes. So and, it does and really I do that on purpose. Forward. So they are kind of it's holding, a nice contrast. holding down. Mm -hmm. They are a geometric component to all the organic exactly. flow that's happening. Right, right. And it really started in a way with the pandemic because yeah. I started thinking about the idea of confluences, how one thing could be spatially related to mm -hmm. another, kind of points in space. And, and that's something that is new for you it is to new. have this added it's, um, it is new. more graphic and element. That's exactly right. Which I think is kind of cool to see in this body of work. Yeah. Um, in contrast to like the usually very, you know, more floral and organic. Right, right. So it, they, it they became has, fields yeah. of emotive space that have garden-like aspects to them. Yeah, that's um, great. This, this piece, and I'll just um, go, talk about this. Yeah, now, please. Stuff, is called Parade of Misconceptions. Mm -hmm. And it's the last of the series besides oh, Paths okay. that are at the end. And this piece is actually about this idea that you can journey through points in space to a part of some part of the painting and think that it's going to coalesce and it just completely disappears. So it has some kind of mapping. Um, yes, that's uh, exactly right. Insinuation. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah, this, is that's a, cool. this is one of the only ones that has that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the idea is emotionally you might think that you're going someplace and then when you get there, it mm -hmm. completely is diaphanous. They're, Interesting. You know, so it leads you, but you're not. So that therefore, it's kind of a misconception that mm -hmm. you think you're following a path, but right, it's leading right. to something totally unlike what you thought you were going to get. Got it. Got it. So there's a psychological aspect mm -hmm. to the landscape um, as an idiom that really interests me. What can landscape do for human emotion? What mm -hmm. can it embody? Um, and I'm interested in it embodying a kind of joy. Mm -hmm. sorrow and loss okay um as as a vehicle for landscape in general mm -hmm. because i think when we go outside to the land mm -hmm. wherever we are whether even if it's urban mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we're we're actually emotionally experiencing mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. attached to it on some level that's great that's great and um I'm gonna. And this one is called Paths. This was the last in that series. Okay, let's just. Um, and this one has to do with things inter Ooh. intersecting each other, so and it's pretty. kind of a joyous yeah, piece. It is. Um, and it's I beautiful. love green too much. No, not at all. <laughs> I love green. Well, you like the warm and cool. At right. The same time. Right. I mean, there's a lot of. And this one has a little colors. bit of a feminist kind of ideology there, but let's just see. to. Take, this is lace. Oh, so the idea that yeah, flowers, so and pretty. these are actually crocheted forms that I have in my studio that sometimes I use as stencils. Mm -hmm. So this way of things kind of yeah. weaving themselves together are in some of them. There's a lot of drawing now too in it. Is, is yeah, that something drawing, that just... I draw on top of the layers. Yeah, I see. And there we go. to link them together and also their growth patterns. Mm -hmm. So the idea is, is it, it's kind of questioning growth rather than just promoting it as a sort of system you know we grow or how do we grow and then things seem to decline or decay so this piece over here is really about that this piece is called night of lost emotions night of lost emotions yes wow. so it's about this idea this is an orchid okay i love orchids yeah um I this see. is a probably like um cool. Yeah, there's these spiraling forms, yeah. but this is probably a nasturtium. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in a way, at night, I have several night themes where things appear and disappear. Mm -hmm. And I am interested in painting being mysterious and mm -hmm. that you have to look at it for a long time to really see everything. Yeah. So yeah. they're not a system. They're yeah. not about systems, although there is 
kind of systemic marketing. Yeah, you're making reference to But some... they're not systems. Right, 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 And right. they're like um, mm -hmm. intentionally this not so systems. Pretty. <clears throat> this yeah. is called rain. Okay. So this isn't, these pieces I used to make much smaller pieces and um, they're kind of earlier pieces. This mm -hmm. is 2020. Although this is very recent, this is okay. called Wishing, oh, wow. and it's, um, this is probably a nasturtium underneath here, but it's about the, this idea that a space can hold many different emotional places all at the same time. I see. And that then it might be a landscape. Okay. You know, right, so it's right. questioning what is the notion of landscape, mm -hmm. like what mm -hmm. is a landscape. Okay. Um, this yeah. one is called Florence's Garden. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to see because it's large. Mm -hmm. And just in terms of technique, there's a paper fiber gesso okay. that I began this piece with, which pulled up a lot of these shapes from the very beginning. Oh. And then this is actually a, an early spring plant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, from a, my friend Florence's garden that I printed into the painting. Okay. And then I layered over it. And mm -hmm. often they become this journey between the top, the mm -hmm. middle, mm -hmm. and the back of the painting. So I used to think of it as a what might be called a samsara mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. trip between different places all in the same painting. So mm -hmm. that there's several different ways that you can move through it. Okay. This one is about the Ukraine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there are some politics, sure. but it's through the garden. It's mm -hmm. called The mm -hmm. Sky is Falling. Oh, okay. And this is a lily. Mm -hmm. And it's about things just exploding. I see. And I made this in the beginning of 2022. And it was, right. you know, when... how do you use the garden to describe something as horrible as war? Right. Right. And um, it, I mean, but even with this one, even though it's based on something so bad um, of, you know, Russian invasion, it doesn't seem like it's that Right. So a negative. lot of times people think, oh, there's just overt beauty. Yeah. But when you really start to look at the surfaces, you mm -hmm. see that they're disintegrating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that there's an actual roughness about the surface, that it's how the surface is built is really quite raw. Mm -hmm. And then the glazes have this beautiful effect of kind of melding things together. But the actual physicality of the painting mm -hmm. is very raw. Okay. And, you know, maybe you can see that in here. This is a night mm -hmm. painting called Moss Garden. Mm -hmm. So there's lots and lots of movement of things until they settle. Okay. This one is probably the most raw painting in the whole show. It's called Not What I Expected. Mm -hmm. And I just let every, you know, everything show in mm -hmm. this. So I didn't push things back. I just let the whole So it's thing... all additive, in, you mean? Or there's yes, not a lot way, of there's subtractive a, There's not elements. a lot of pressing back into the space. The space mm -hmm. is really coming forward and right, moving right. across. Okay. And things are not unified. Uh -huh. They're completely ununified. Okay. That's the whole idea. Yeah. This is exactly the opposite. This mm -hmm. is called Earth Witness, which is the title image for the show. And it's based on a Buddha figure that I saw at the BMA, mm -hmm. which was uh, an earth witness figure touching the earth. And I can even show Wait, you. Wait, what's an picture. earth witness figure? So there's, there's a, um, I, you know, I don't want to get into the whole Buddha story because I'm not going to be totally accurate with this because I'm not, you know, a Buddha scholar. But um, there is this beautiful piece in the BMA mm -hmm. that I saw recently. Um, I'm going to just pause it. the video. Okay. And then, you know, you can okay. obviously cut 